hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video which is going to be the best makeup of 2022 these are the products that i keep reaching for over and over and over again and if you're new welcome my name is nikki i am from the netherlands hence the accent i'm also slightly orcish relatively vintage i love spooky stuff makeup and being creative Let me explain some things. The slightly orcish means that I'm green. I am a light to light medium warm-ish olive. And the relatively vintage means I am 46. I also have ADHD and I'm autistic. So I'm kind of like, you know, the mystery box. A box of chocolate because you never know what you're going to get. Yes, that's kind of... That's kind of it. The makeup look of today I didn't film, but I will tell you what I use because it's in the video as well. So grab a drink and a snack because it's going to be a long one. I'll try to keep it a little bit short and, and, and condensed and not to blabber on too long. But um, I have a lot of stuff to get through. So the products that I pulled today, there are new products in here, yes. But there are also some older products in here. And this is just what I reach for constantly. So these are the favorites of the favorites. Let me first start by telling you my skin type. I actually think my skin is pretty normal. But maybe a little bit more on the drier side in certain areas. So let's start with primers then. And the first primer that I want to talk about is from Catrice. It's their Hydro Primer. Love, Skin and Respect Earth. Um, this is actually my second tube. This is a primer that's nice and hydrating. It feels nice and cooling. It, it sinks in and it gives me hydration. That is what this primer does. And that is what I want from this primer as well. Unfortunately, right now where I live, they don't have it in store anymore. They kind of reformulated or something. And now they made this into a sticky primer, which I already have and I don't need from Catrice. So I hope that when this one runs out, I either found another replacement or uh, have another... Why do I have a glitter? Have another favorite, but definitely worth checking out. The next primer that I'm going to mention is from Makeup Revolution. And it is their... Kombucha Skin Shot. This is a primer that is... It, this is more of a gripping primer. But not as sticky as the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. Or um, the also the other one that I have from uh, Essence. Their Jelly Primer, I believe it's called. Uh, this one gives me grip. But also spreadability. So it's hydrating. The scent is a little bit like peach uh, candy which i really enjoy um, and when i put it on because it takes a little it, it has a little bit more substance than more gel bases it takes a little bit longer to set but i can still work with it 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 gives me spreadability it, it basically gives me hydration spreadability and tack and i don't know how they did it but i really really love it I really love it. Okay, let's next go to foundations. Let's start with this one from Smashbox, the Halo Foundation. This is the shade Light Olive. Now, can I just say it's not light? No, it's not. It's not light. Uh, I'm a light to light. I'm basically light medium. Um, and this is not light. This is more medium-ish. Uh, this was my go-to this summer. This just looked so, so pretty. I loved the way it felt on my skin. It's a, it has a little bit of stick in and of itself. So I did not necessarily need a sticky primer underneath. It just looked pretty. It just was my skin, but better. Uh, I don't know. It gave, me, it gave me hydration, healthy glow. Yeah, all-in-one tinted moisturizer. It's, it's, it's a little bit... It's a more coverage than a tinted moisturizer. <clears throat> But it's basically a light medium coverage. I really enjoyed it this summer. I, I really, really love it. Then the next one that I'm going to mention, which I actually have on my face today, is from Kosas. And this is their Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. I have the shade uh, Neutral Olive 160. Now, this is not a true neutral olive. <coughs> I am a warm-ish olive, as I said, so more on the neutral side than the warm side. And this is the perfect shade for me right now. So maybe that is helpful. So it's not a true neutral. It's on the warmer side of neutral. Perfect for me. I think this is just such a nice foundation. Um, it looks pretty on the skin. It just, it feels nice. I do have to say that in summer, so when it was, we basically had a few warmer days in spring when I still had the shade match with this. And it almost feels a little bit too heavy then. So I like this in winter most maybe that's helpful yes okay next i'm going to go to a foundation that's actually a new favorite um i bought this when it launched and i think it launched 
uh, around summertime. I'm actually not sure. It's from Glam Shop and it's their illuminating foundation. This is the shade 1.75. And then I was like, uh, Glam Shop is too light for me usually. So I will wait until I'm a bit lighter. However, this right now is too dark. So that's interesting. Um, this is basically my mid my mid range shade so smack in the middle between my winter shade and my summer shade but this is just it kind of gives me a similar finish than what i have right now so yes it's illuminating but it's not glowy i don't like glowy because for me glowy is like i'm looking like an oil slick kind of like that so this just gives my face it just look it just looks pretty What can I say? It's just a nice luminosity. It has a nice feel on the skin. It also has a hint of a stick in the foundation, which makes it just, you know, stay where you put it. But it's still easy to work with. And uh, I think that the finish is just very, very pretty. Then the last foundation that I'm going to mention is... Um, The House Labs foundation. You see, I have two. Yes, this was the first one that I bought, which is shade 160, uh, I believe. No, 190 light cool. This is not light. This is medium. This is my sum. This is my summer color. This, so it's not light. At least not according to me. But maybe I'm mistaken. So this is my summer color. Um, I really, really enjoy this foundation. I think it's just such a pretty finish. Um, what can I say? I've heard people hating this foundation, but I really, really enjoy it. I can use it with a primer, without a primer, with sunscreen, without sunscreen. It does not really matter. I can use almost any setting powder I have, depending on how my skin is feeling that day. But I love this. Hence the fact that I bought another one in the shade 13. Now, the fun fact is this is way too light for me. This is described as fair, but I was like, because this is described as light, this should match me. I think this is my very, very depth of winter color, though. So I just mix the two together and I'm very happy about that i just think it's a stunning foundation let's go to concealers and for concealer i have one that i'm going to mention which is from kosas this is the shade 3.20 this is almost finished in summer i used 5.5 and in between i kind of mixed the two this is just such a nice hydrating concealer um, my under eyes are older they can get a little bit dry especially here but this just gives me the hydration that i want and If I let it sit for a little bit, that's just a tip. If you put your concealer on, don't blend it out immediately unless you want a lighter coverage. Let it sit a little bit. Let it kind of thicken up and then blend it out. And that works so, so well. This is... I need a replacement. I don't try out a lot of concealers because there are just... Not a lot of brands who have an olive toned concealer. And even if they have olive foundations, a lot of the time I found they don't have an olive concealer. So... That's why I don't use a lot of olive concealers. But the ones that I have, I love with passion. Let's go next to uh, freckles because I can. Um, the Nabla Freckle Tint. Perfect color for me in summer. In winter, the price is reasonable and the it's cheaper than freck. And I, I just really, really enjoy the applicator. So this applicator <coughs> is a silicon applicator, but it has a rounded tip instead of a pointy tip. And it just makes... It's just, it just looks nice. So, yeah, that's the one I would recommend. Let's next go to setting powder. Let's not go to setting powder. And for setting powder, I just grabbed a few. So let's start with the setting powder that I use if I'm grabbing for a pressed powder. And that is from Charlotte Tilbury. <coughs> her, her setting powder in light. Can you see? Can you see the pen? That's how much I love this. It's just such a pretty, it's just such a pretty, pretty powder. I also actually want to try her, um, the, I think it's the illuminating one, the one in the white component. Yeah, I, I'm going to repurchase a refill when I'm done with this. That's how much I love it. So the powder I'm going to mention now is from Kiko. It's their Universal Veal Finishing Powder. I can set my face with this, um, but I need a foundation that kind of sets a little bit on itself as uh, already for instance the house labs one that kind of sets for itself or uh, the lisa eldridge that one sets itself as well <clears throat> then i can use this to set my face or if my under eyes are very dry and i want to bring a little bit of life back i can use this one as well but this is a finishing powder and how do you use a finishing powder when everything of powder is on your face you get a brush that you want that you can blend with 
put it on and then blend it over to basically blend everything nicely together and make it a little bit more seamless that's that's how you use this powder and it's just such a pretty pretty powder that i really wanted to mention this because i have been enjoying i actually didn't use it today but i have been enjoying using a buffing powder or a finishing powder Highly, highly recommend. Then I have pulled two setting powders, uh, two loose powders. Now for me, uh, powder depends on how my skin is and the type of weather that we're having. So the first powder that I pulled is a powder that I can actually use always if I want to. And it's from Kiko. And I've had this powder for, I think, three or four years. It's not in the original component because that component is atrocious. It's, it's their universal setting powder, their loose setting powder in the wonky packaging. But this is so lightweight. It has a hint of a shine. It's not a, an illuminating powder, but it's also not, it's not a flat powder. It's not a very, very matte powder. It just gives your face a little bit of life back and it's very finely milled. It doesn't feel dry or cakey or heavy on the face. It's just such a pretty powder and honestly i don't understand why not why more people aren't talking about this powder because it has been a favorite of mine for years okay the next one that i'm going to mention if i need a matte powder this is the one i grab and it's from glam shop this is one ingredient silica it's their hd uh hd powder if i want to be matte this is what i grab so i actually use this one a lot in summer when my face is sweaty and i want my makeup to just you know stay put um this is the powder that i grab and i need a small amount i need a very very small amount to set my face and it's just it just works so so well finely milled not heavy but it does its job very very well okay um next i'm going to go to bronzers and we're going to start with uh, cream bronzers. I just grouped them together, kind of. Yes. Uh, let's start with cream bronzer. And the first cream bronzer that I'm going to mention is from Makeup Revolution. It's from their super, super dewy line in the shade medium to tan. You can see how much I've used this, I think, right? In, especially in summer, this is the one that I use. Because it's just... It works. It works. In winter, it's a little bit too warm for me, maybe, but it just it just works so, so well. Now, in summer, I think it's because my uh, yellow overtone kind of, you know, tans a little bit. I almost get a little bit more on the golden side. And this one works then so, so well. Highly, highly recommend. It's a moussey texture. It's so easy to work with. It's pigmented, but not... Not so much that it is unworkable. It's just for me, it's for me, it's the perfect product. Then the next one that I'm going to mention is from Glam Shop. And this is their cream bronzer in shade Olive. And this is what I use in winter uh, and today as well. This is the same type of texture as the ABH one. But this just works for me so, so well. And it's an olive. They have a bunch of other colors as well. It's a pretty light one if you put it on. So it's it's subtle. When we are in uh, basically the beginning of summer and I'm getting more tan, you don't see this anymore. But in the colder, colder part of the year, this is definitely the one that I reach for. I just love it so, so much. It's easy to work with and... Um, yeah, what can I say? Then let's go to powder bronzers. Let's start with some one that has been a favorite of mine for quite some time. And this is from Too Faced. It's an older product. This is the Chocolate Soleil. And this is the bronzer, the powder bronzer that I grab in summer. This is then kind of a subtle bronzer, but just so, so pretty. I love the scent. I love that it smells of chocolate. And I, I just... What I love most about it in summer is that I don't really have to be careful with it because it's kind of a almost a looser formula. So I can pick up quite a lot with my brush and I don't like to be overly bronzed. So that's why I use this one in summer more than in winter. But I really love this one. Then let's go to the one that I grab for very, very much in winter, which is from Glam Shop. And it is their olive bronzer. They also have a chocolate olive, which is darker and more... I want to say more neutral leaning almost. This is also a very, very subtle powder bronzer. And this is just, if I swatch it, you won't, you probably won't really see it. And it's that subtle. And I love that. And it still shows up on my skin, but in a subtle layer. So if you're fair to light and you're olive, this will be your color for sure. 
The last bronzer that I'm going to mention is the one that I have on my face today. And the shade is a new shade, but the formula I have already known and loved when I found the correct brush. It's from House Labs. And this is the bronzer in light level 2. I actually got light level 4 as a gift, which is the neutral one, which I can use in summer. Um, but it's actually too neutral for me right now and a little, little too dark. This is the shade 2 and it's described, if I believe, um, light golden. If I'm not mistaken, this works so, so well for me. I have it on right now and I'm going to show you the brush that I use with this because it took a little while for me to find my favorite brush to use with this formula. But it's this one from Lethal. This is their powder brush, the 100 powder brush. It's a synthetic brush. So it picks up the moussey texture very, very well. And because it's a little bit more... I don't want, it's not really dense, but it's also not fluffy, but it has a lot of surface area that it can pick it up with. It just works very, very well. This is highly, uh, it's also one of my favorite brushes, especially for face right now. But this just works so, so well with that bronzer. That's, this is the brush that I use for that bronzer. Uh, let's go to blush next. Let's start with cream blush and let's start with the MUA. This formula has been a favorite of mine for years, for years. Uh, the shade I'm going to mention is the shade Cherry Pop. Uh, especially in summer, it's a red, but it just works. And when you blend it out, it's just very, very pretty. The only thing though, it's also pretty pigmented, so you don't need a lot. Just, just a warning. Just a warning, uh, if you're like, damn, it's way, way, way too much. Just go over it with your uh, sponge that you use for your foundation or the brush that you use for your foundation. Tone it down a little bit more. But it's just such a such a cute color. And it just makes me feel, I don't know, like strawberries. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Then <clears throat> the other one that I'm going to mention is the one that I have on my face today, which it was kind of a surprise. I hoped that I would like it when I bought it. I honestly bought it more for the packaging, but I really, really fell in love. And it is from iHeart Revolution. It is from their collaboration with uh, DC Comics and the Joker and Harley Quinn Mad Love Blush Palette. I use this so... You can see it's gross, right? That's the downside of stuff like this. But I use it so, so often. The only shade I don't use a lot is this one. I have this shade on today. And a lot of the time I combine them. It's a cream product. But it just works so, so well. It's... If I use a dense brush... I can, it's, it's very impactful. If I use a more open brush, which I usually do for cream blush products, it's a little bit more subtle. It's, for me, it's blendable. It sets on its own. It's just, it's, it works uh, underneath my powder stuff as well. It's just, it was such a surprise, honestly. <laughs> okay, then let's go to um, Unearthly Cosmetics for her powder blush in the shade Hazy. This is the, the one from her that I grab for so, so often. If I'm kind of doing a cool tone makeup look, this is the color that I grab. The shade Hazy. It just, even though I'm green and purple kind of, you know, opposite the color wheel, they kind of make each other more pop. It, this one doesn't make me more green. It's just so, so pretty. It's the perfect shade of purple for me, for sure. Okay. <clears throat> Next, I am going to go to Kaleidos. And... Their powder blushes. I love their powder blushes. Their formula is so, so good. The components are so stunning. I have four. I had five. I gave one away. Because it was just not a color that I was using. It was way too blue for me. But these are the two. These are the two I'm going to mention. And what I actually did with a paint marker in silver. I wrote the shade on the side. And I also did that with the palettes. So that I know the name of the palettes. So yeah, the shade Joyride. And here I have the shade Sanguine. Now the shade Joyride, when I saw it, I kind of knew that I would like this. Because it's just a little bit... Some say it's a neutral blush. And I understand why they're calling it a neutral blush. For me, it's just a warm, orangey, peachy blush because i'm green th that's kind of you can kind of see i think that it's pulling a little bit more orange for me and this is just i love this blush so much uh, the embossing is going you can kind of see it right the formula is so nice i have this color on my face today because i wanted to be extra so i layered everything on top of each other and it just works so so well then the shade sanguine which is the red 
this one surprised me so so much the formula is so nice it has almost a hint of a sheen and for me it just works it's a very nice and blendable it's I did not expect to like this one as much as I do so it was kind of a surprise but it's just such a pretty blush the red is also a little bit more toned down because I also had a bright red in my collection that just doesn't work for me but because it's more toned down it's almost like I don't know I've been drinking a little bit of wine and I went outside but in a good way so <laughs> Something like that. Uh, let's next go to highlighters. So let's let's start with this one from Colourpop. This is the Super Shock in the shade Wisp. This is, I think, also an older one. But this is the one that I use. I have more from them. But this is the one that I keep on grabbing. And I have it on my face today as well. Layered on underneath another one that I will get to in a little bit. But this shade for me, it's just so, so perfect. It's kind of a champagne-y or something. I don't know. But it's just so pretty. For... Uh, highlighter for inner corner uh, you can you know put it on your eyelid if you want to for just a hint of a sparkle i love the formula this was actually the first super shock that i tried from them their highlighters and i just fell in love this so this is this is the one that I grab for the most. Let's next go to Unearthly again for one of her incandescent highlighters. This is the shade Gilded. When I use this shade, I kind of get a sim similar vibe as what I have right now. So I just basically put a little bit on my um, ring fingers, tap it like that, and then tap it on. And just tap, tap it on my face and kind of swipe it a little bit, tap it on, you know, and kind of blend it. That's how I use it. But I, I, that's, I, use, I don't use a lot of um, makeup products with my fingers, but highlighters I do, especially cream and liquid and such. But this shade, it's just so, so pretty. It's so nice and fiery and it gives me a similar vibe as I have right now. So definitely recommend. The next product that I'm going to mention, it's, it's technically a highlighter. It's kind of living among my highlighters, but uh, honestly, it's more of a sh shimmer blush or a blush topper for me in summer. And it's from House Labs, and it is the shade Fire Opal. Can we just? It's such a pretty shade. Yeah, in summer, I, I use this as kind of a blush topper. Now I can use it as, as a blush and in and of itself. It's just such... A pretty shade such a lovely formula and this this shade was the one that stood out for me the most because i don't have anything like this in my collection but honestly i kind of want to try more because i really do enjoy the formula a lot. then i'm going to go to this one next which is it's not my most used product i have to say that however it needs to be in the favorite of 2022 why? Because it's a red cat in a party hat highlighter from iHeart Revolution. I have a red cat. So, you know, this is the color, which is actually very, very pretty. So, this it's a little bit more subtle. So when I use this, I usually use it again as a blush topper or as a shimmer blush in winter. And it's a little bit more subtle, but still it's a very, very cute one. And honestly, it's not why I bought it. It's also not really why it's in the video. It's nice that it's nice to use, but it's because of this. Yes. The next one that I'm going to mention, it's kind of the complete vibe. So it's it's the packaging and it's the formula. Uh, it's from also from Makeup Revolution, from their Beetlejuice collection. It's the handbook for the recently deceased highlighter palette. This feels like very much a handbook because you can put it in your pocket, you know, kind of like that. Um, so I love this. This is the inside. I love the formula of this. It's so nice and smooth, but it's still very 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 pretty it looks a little bit lackluster let's see if we can kind of fade them out a little bit it's a little bit more subtle almost but i really enjoyed it and if you spray your brush you can really build this up to be blinding uh, because this is a smooth formula that's what i really enjoy you can kind of mix them together if you want to but it's again the whole experience and i think that it's just a very very nice formula then the last one that i'm going to mention is the one that i have on my face today and it is also has been a favorite of mine for think two years so this year and especially last year as well it's from dj's unique boutique and this is a loose highlighter in the shade heat wave you get so much 
I don't know if I'll ever finish this. Um, and yes, it's a loose highlighter, but it's still very, very easy to use. It's like your loose setting powder. So you just dip your brush in a little bit. Then you tap it off on the cap. And then you can also, if you have a little bit here, you can kind of swirl it in there as well. And then put it on the face. Now, I do have to say that the brush that I used today for it, I want to mention. Because it is also one of my favorite brushes. And it is new. It is from Lethal. And it is their highlighter fan brush. This brush surprised me so, so much. But I can do anything with it. I can uh, go here. I can go here. Here. And I can target here. And I can, if I go like that, kind of, you know, sweep it a little bit more. I can blend with it. It picks up product so, so well. I kind of want to try it. Maybe I will try it with the Super Shock formula as well. Because I'm just curious to see how it will work. But uh, this is this is a highly, 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 highly recommend that brush. And the highlighter. And it's stunning. So I have that on my face today as well. The next product that I'm going to mention is a product that I have been searching for. And uh, one that I really, really love for eons and it's setting spray so a lot of the time for me when i use a setting spray i'm like why does my face feel sticky and i'm not necessarily sticky from the outside but sticky from the inside it's just i don't know why um so when i saw this one in store i was like let me try it because i just really like the way that the component is looking and even if i don't like the setting spray i can you you repurpose the bottle for something else and it is from catrice it's from their villains collection this is the cruella the vil spray and it's so so nice it's so so nice this when i spray this on the mister is very very fine and when i spray this on I can feel, I, I, I don't feel it drying. I have one of those fan thingies, you know. But when it is set, my face just feels like my face. It doesn't dry my face out, which a lot of sprays actually do. Um, and it just, it just looks natural and it feels normal instead of sticky or tight. This just works so, so well. It's a glass bottle. It's just so nice. There's glycerin in here. Mm. Yeah, I, I, it's a glycerin based and I really, really enjoy this. So if you have this one and you have another one in your collection that you're like, they are the same. They give the same feeling. Let me know. Um, I did actually try back in the day, the one from Mac and I enjoyed that one as well. However, Mac isn't cruelty free. So There is, there is that. Um, but this is very, very nice. And, and I could very well see myself just buying a few more of these to have a backup. You know, kind of like that. Okay, let's go to brows because that's then kind of the next step that I do. Kind of. Uh, I actually set my brows before I do foundation. But here we are. So the brow glue that I use is from Catrice. This is their super glue uh super glue brow styling gel this was released this year this is my second tube and i have been using this non-stop i have not used any soaps or soap style products ever since i tried this one this is just so so nice um it keeps my brows in place it it doesn't make them feel crusty and It just, it just works. And it works with all the other products that I have as well. If I want to have a brow powder, it works. If I want to have a brow pencil, it works. And a brow pen, it all works. And it's cheap as chips. And I really, really love it. I heard from one of you that the one from Essence is very similar. So I want to try that one as well. But this one, hands down, the best brow gel product like thingamajiggy that i have tried this year then let's go to the brow product that i keep reaching for over and over again now i also love brow pencils but this is just especially when i found the correct color for me right now this is the one that i've been using and it's from nyx it's their lift and snatch in black i also have gray black gray black i use when my hair is lighter so when it is silver or You know, anything like that. But the gray black is too light combined with my hair or lack thereof. So my hair, my hair isn't black, but it's almost like that. It's very, very dark, actually. And while you look where you see on the camera, this is probably more red than my hair. When I look in real life, it's very, very close. Uh, but it's not that I have Bert and Ernie brows or anything like that. So yes, it's black. But it's not intensely pigmented. It just works. I love that one. Let's next go to 
um, eye primers. Let's go to eye primers. And let's start with this one, which is pretty new in my collection. It's from Glam Shop. It is their eyeshadow base. And as you can see, this is a tinted one. And I always say I don't want to have a tinted one because they warp my eyeshadow colors. Because I am an olive. If I have uh, a, a light one on there, usually pink, which turns either gray or very weird peach on me. And if I have another one, it usually is too yellow or orange It works my eyeshadow colors. This one doesn't because this one has a green tint to it. It's a warm green tint though. So if you're a cool toned olive, this will probably be too warm for you. But if you're neutral to warm, I think you can use this. It's very, very light though. So I, I won't use this in winter because or in summer because it's just too light for me. I do use it now. It makes my eyeshadows pop. It... Um, It just works. If my eyelids are extremely dry that day for whatever reason, this one dries a little bit too much and it then still gives me a lot of blendability and let the colors pop. But it kind of lacks in the stick then. So I hope that helps. It's kind of like a concealer consistency, but way thinner. So it's not that, that thick, heavy feeling that a concealer based eyeshadow primer can give it works very very well and i highly recommend if you're looking for a product like this then the next one that i'm going to mention is the one from essence the prime likeables eyeshadow base this released a few months ago this does not have a base shade it gives me hydration it gives me blendability and it gives me stick and i love that so this one for me works just so so well and it's such a nice drugstore option now unfortunately as far as i know it's only available in europe right now but this just works with every eyeshadow that i have tried honestly it's just so so good then the last one that i'm going to mention uh, or the next one that i'm going to mention is from Too faced and this gives me the same thing as the essence one does only this formula is a little bit thicker than the essence one it has a slight base tint but it doesn't tint my uh, lids um, it also gives me hydration this is readily available it's kind of the same type of product i really really enjoy this one as well okay then the last eyeshadow primer that i'm going to mention is maybe maybe even the most important one is shimmer primer it's the shimmer primer that i use exclusively It's from Death and Candy Custom Creations. It's her Liquid Life Gel Base. You can see the top, right? Now, she is based in the USA, so I do have a European equivalent. Hold on. But you see the big top. You can use this to use uh, as a base for glitter gels, for pigment gels. Uh, you can use... You can also make kind of a, a waterproof eyeliner with this, with a water activated liner you know or uh, eyeshadow you can use that as well um, but this for me keeps all the shimmers that i try in place if you want to see me use it go watch any random video where i put on product on my face eyeshadow on because this is what i use exclusively now the next thing if you if you don't want to shop from the usa because it's very expensive to get here uh, i do have another one that i really enjoy from glam shop as you can see it's a lot less product it's for us here in europe easier to get this one though it's thinner than the one from uh, death and candy and this sets extremely quickly so while when i use this i can do two eyes at the same time you know put it on both eyes at the same time and then work like that this one i need to do one eye per time because it dries very very quickly uh, if you have very dry eyelids i don't know if you will like this honestly because it does not well this one also gives me kind of a hydration this one doesn't really so it just locks the eye it just locks the shimmer in That's kind of what this one does. But uh, I just wanted to mention it in case you are one of my European friends. Next, I'm going to go to inner corner highlight. Now, there are no eyeshadow palettes in today's video. Uh, the reason for that is I already filmed the video and it is online. My top 10 palettes of 2022. Those were my favorites of the year. <clears throat> very, very much so. Now, there are more palettes in here that I grab for often that were not in that video. So what I can also do is film a video, my most used palettes. Something like that. Although I have to say that my number one in that video is actually the palette that I grab the most right now. So, yeah. What I did want to mention, though, were inner corner shades. Because I find myself... Oh, hair. I find myself reaching for specific inner corner shades over and over again. And I'm going to start with the one that I have on my eyes right now, which 
which is from Colourpop. It's their uh, Jelly Much Shadow in I Am Calm from the Hocus Pocus 2 collection. And it's this one. And I love this one so much. I also have the other two colors that I really enjoy. But this is the one that I grab for so, so often. Because it just makes me happy. And I do get a little bit of glitter fallout during the day. As you can kind of see. But I don't really care. I don't care. I just think it's just so, so pretty. And uh, very, very easy to use. I love this one. What can I say? Then a regular eye, a regular shadow that I have is from Davina. And I got this actually as a gift from someone. She, she sent me six. The two that I use the most are these two. This is the shade Nerd. And this is the shade Gumballs. But this is the one that I want to mention. Because this shade Gumballs, I use this so, so much. And this gives me the same vibe as the Colourpop one gives me without the glitter. It's just so, so, so stunning. And this is very, very often, if I look for an inner corner uh, shade outside of the eyeshadow palette that I'm working with, this is usually the one that I grab. So I wanted to mention that as well. Next, I'm going to go to, uh, uh, let's go to eyeliner and eye pencil. Yes, uh, so the eyeliner I use is from Catrice. It's a 24 hour waterproof dip liner. This has uh, not, it's not a brush tip, but it's a silicon tip, but it kind of feels like a brush tip uh, and it's waterproof. It sets down matte, which I want. And the most important thing, it does not bleed. Uh, that's interesting. One of my lights just quit working. Stand by. I found another lamp. I don't know where my official one is. So if I seem a little bit warmer on that side, it's because I am. Um, I don't remember. I think I was going to go to eye pencil. So for eye pencils, I have one brand, and that's V Cosmetics. Uh, their Lilith liners are amazing. So I actually used the black one today to tight line and a little bit there, and then kind of smudged it out. With a brush. She has a bunch of colors. She has, I just grabbed a few. She has a white, a black, yellow, orange, blue, red, green, pink. I think I'm forgetting one, but I'm actually not sure. But they stay in the waterline all day. All day. And they're just, they're just so good. They're creamy. They glide on and they just, as I said, Stay on all day. The best eye pencils I have tried in years. Honestly, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Next, I'm going to go to... I'm kind of skipping mascara right now. And the reason that I'm kind of skipping mascara is because my absolute favorite is no longer sold. At least it hasn't been for half a year. And while I enjoy the mascaras that I'm using and I grab for them often, I'm still searching for my perfect alternative. So that's why they're not in this video. Let's next go to... Uh, falsies and glue let's start with the glue i can be very quick with that this these are the ones that i use the duo the duo with the green lettering and the duo with the orange lettering i have a black and i have a white that's what i use they have a brush they dry down quickly i really really love these so best ones i just keep on repurchasing these as well now for falsies i have a few I love me my falsies. Uh, let's start. Let's start with with these, which are uh, from Vive. These are the style uh, HL2, and you can see, yeah, they, it looks gross. The box is broken. It's because I use them so so often. And these are falsies that I've had these I think for a year or something like that, and I have used these so often, and they're still going strong. So. Just saying, they are technically half lashes, but I don't have to cut them. Uh, I, I think I did cut these a hint because I'm doing them underneath my lashes. And you, you have a little bit less room underneath than up top. But I really, really love these. Then the, let's go to the one that I have on right now, which is from Primark. Um, it is from the brand Baby Doll, and it's the Style 723. I actually have a new box that I can show you. These are so, so nice. This it has been my favorite a natural falsy for years so every time i'm at primark and i see that they have them i basically grab a few boxes now the only downside is i cannot really link them for you um they do kind of sell these from their own site uh on babydoll dot i think uk dot co dot uk i think it is but a lot of the time they don't have these in stock 
if you see them at Primark though they're very very pretty and as I said I have them on today a very nice alternative and my other pair of falsies that I'm going to mention are the dream likes from unearthly now let me show you them side by side I just pulled two new boxes so you can kind of see sorry for the shine of the light maybe a little bit like that so they are very very similar They're very, very similar. You can kind of see that they're a little bit different in the boxes, that the styles are a hint different. But when you have them on your eye, no one will know. No one will see the difference. So if you don't want to shop at Primark and you can get a hold of these easily, definitely recommend these, the Dreamlikes from Unearthly. But if you're here in, the, in Europe and you don't want to shop from the USA, see if you can find these. Because these are almost the same. And both are just so nice they they last for such a long time it's definitely definitely worth it my favorites for sure okay uh, i also have uh, i'm going to go to lips next yeah i also have some some lippy treatments uh these two i don't really think i have to explain the honey pot right from Colourpop. the mask it's just it's a honey pot it smells of honey It's very nice to use. That's it. <laughs> and I use it a lot. Then the other favorite that I have is this one. And this is actually one that I usually have in my uh, pants pocket or my coat pocket or whatever. If I'm just going to go away and I want to have something uh, quick and easy and a little bit of hydration on my lips. Can you see how much I've used this? Uh, this looks green, but it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a shade. Or at least not for me. It's from the advent calendar that uh, from Makeup Revolution of the, the Grinch. And this uh, I wish that this was sold separately. I love this a lot. I love it. I love it. Okay. And um, the next kind of two lip treatment, whatever thingamajing is I have, are from Catrice. I love lip oils. And I have a few lip oils from different brands. But the one that I keep reaching for constantly is the one from Catrice. The one from Catrice has a hint of... It, it kind of has almost like a protective layer built in. So if you want an oil that sinks into your lips and you don't have any residue left and this is not for you this uh, is a little bit of a thicker lip oil it, uh, the lot of, a lot of them have a little bit of a base tint as well and it gives you that glossiness and it sinks in but it also kind of leaves a protective layer on your lips after that that makes it that my lips don't dry out as quickly if i use this versus i don't know a thinner oil that sinks in very very well so i really really enjoy this one they have a bunch of colors they're cheapest chips and i have them strewn about my entire house and clothing and bags and such then i'm going to go to the catrice uh, liquid lip balms and i actually think that both of these were also in last year's favorite i just grabbed one of the shades that i have these are a hybrid between a lip oil and a lip gloss They have a little bit more of a tint than the lip oils do. They are also a little bit less. They're a little. They're they're in the middle. They're a little less glossy than a gloss. I don't know, but these also have that kind of protective layer, and especially when it's cold and you know a lot of wind, especially these types of products are what I go for because it leaves that protective layer and. Um, You don't feel it. It's just it's just there. And I like that they have different types of colors as well. I use this a lot. I use these a lot in winter. I also use them heaps in summer. So they are. If you've never tried these, either of them, definitely, definitely something to check out. Then I'm going to go to um, let's go to lip liners because I'm kind of going to regular lippies now. So the lip liners that I want to mention are from Cursed Cosmetics. These are my favorites. Now this one uh, in the shade Half God is actually the one that I've used the least. So you can kind of see how long the pencils are to begin with. So then let me kind of line up the pencil. So this is then my second favorite, which is the shade uh holy this is the shade that i use the most it's the shade that i have on today as well and this is in the shade prey uh, they're a dutch indie brand they came out with uh, lip liners lip glosses and liquid lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and these are the ones that i reach for over everything else so highly recommend that as well and you get such a big pencil it's insane let's go next to um shall we go to glosses sure let's go to glosses let's start with one that's new and that was very much a surprise for me it's from v cosmetics in the in the shade talisman now i always say i don't use pinks a lot and when i saw this i was like mm, i'll try it for the formula 
but uh, it's probably going to be it. Boy, was I mistaken, because I use this one so, so often. This is one that I just chuck on whenever. Because it's, it's almost like my lips, but better. It gives me a little bit of a shine. It's not a hot, hot pink, but it's a little bit more muted. I want to say it's almost a little bit like, I don't know, a, a berry, a mauve. I never know what kind of colors they are. But this is such a nice gloss. It's so, so nice. And I love that it's metallic. I love that. I love the, the feel of it. I love the color. It was such a big surprise, but I highly, yeah, it, yeah, I love it a lot. Then I'm going to go to a Nomad Cosmetics. They came out with glosses as well this year, and I love their formula so, so much. I pulled out the one that I reached for heaps, and that is the shade Meal, which is rose gold. It's just, oh, no. It's just such a pretty shade, especially in summer. Just just a little bit of that, that, that almost peachy, goldeny sparkle. It's just so, so pretty. And again, it's a gloss with a little bit of substance. It's not gloopy. <sighs> fa fa favorite. Then I want to mention the last gloss that I have here is, I think, also one of the favorites of the last year. It's the shade Nova from Lethal. Now, this stands out a little bit of the from the ones that I just mentioned because the formula is very different. This is a very lightweight formula. And I don't know, if I'm comparing this with a, a lip gloss, this is almost more watery, if that makes any sense at all. It's very, very pretty. It's on me a little less long-lasting than uh, some of the stickier glosses that I have, but I really, really do enjoy this. And this is just such, such a stunning, stunning color. It goes with everything. Yes. Uh, next I'm going to go to Let's go to kind of lipsticks And I'm actually going to start with The one that I have on my lips right now Which is from Colourpop And it's the Just a Tint Lip Crayon In the shade Cherry Picking I heard Angelica Nickfist rave about these And I was like, let me try one And I bought this one because it said I don't know, Cherry Picking And I think it was described as kind of a honey brown And I was like, yeah, that will probably work for me And I was so right This... I love everything about it. I love the fact that it's a crayon. More brands should do these because it's way easier to apply this than to apply a regular bullet lipstick, at least for me. I love that it is glossy. I love the feel on the lips, that it is just nice and hydrating. And I love the color. I It, it actually has quite a bit of longevity. Now, if I eat or drink, it's kind of gone, but still it does stay on my lips quite a long time. I love this formula so much that I've ordered four more. So maybe that's saying enough. The next thing that I'm going to mention is kind of a similar in formula than the Just a Tint. And it is from Catrice. It's their Melting Kiss lipsticks. So I just grabbed one of the shades that I have. And you almost don't see it. This is the shade 10. But it's just such a nice formula. It's It feels kind of like a glossy lip balm uh, with a tint to it. And I also have another shade. They they kind of give me a similar vibe as the Just a Tint that I have on right now. But a little bit a hint stiffer in formula. If that makes any sense at all. I really do enjoy them. Uh, then the last lipstick that I have here is from Juvia's Place. And it is the shade Nile. This lipstick, this is, I've used this so much. It's just such a stunning shade. It's just so pretty and it complements me very, very well. So I love it. This is more of a, it's not as uh, matte as their other uh, ones. I feel that this is a little bit more creamy, but I really, really do enjoy the color. Now, the last uh, thing that I'm going to go to are liquid lipsticks and... Um, Let's start with Unearthly Cosmetics. I pulled three from Unearthly Cosmetics. I love her satin liquid lipstick formula. I think that's amazing. My favorite shade from her first line is the shade Ava. This is the one that... I know that I'm going to finish this. This is just such a stunning, stunning color on me. It's just so, so pretty. It's so, so pretty. From her new line, I also have two favorites. Gianna and uh, Olivia. And these are more peachy. So Olivia is the lightest one. So here they are. So here we have 
um, Olivia is the lightest and Gianna is the other one and I actually use these two together and I usually create an ombre effect which is very very pretty but these are the three colors that are my favorite okay let's go to um, colored rain Colored Rain came out with the Queen Bee collection, right? And I have her two liquid lipsticks here. These are also orangey based. I love the colors. I love the colors and the formula. It's so nice and thin. It's not drying. It's just... It's an amazing formula. What can I say? It's And, and I love the fact that they are orangey instead of the same old pinky pinky that we have. These two colors are... They kind of look a little bit similar to these, but they are actually not. The formula is also different. The finish is a little bit different. But these two very much, yeah, yeah, very, very much highly recommend. And the components are gorgeous. The last liquid lipsticks I'm going to mention are, again, from Cursed Cosmetics. The formula of these is similar to uh, Colored Rain. It's also similar to... Black Moon Cosmetics. So if you like that formula, you will love these as well. And again, Dutch indie brand. They do ship internationally, but just uh, so you know, it's Dutch. I pulled the two colors that I love the most. So the first one that I tried was the shade Ride, which is kind of an... Uh, I think they're calling it a peachy nude. Here she is, which is very, very pretty. The one that I right now use the most actually is uh, God's Plan, which is a little bit darker. Oh, yeah, quite a bit darker. So these are the two that I use the most. It's just such a nice formula. You can also layer uh, glosses on top of them. It's just so, so versatile. So nice. And I hope that she will come out with more very, very soon. Yes. Those were all the favorites of 2022. Let me know if you knew any. Let me know if you know any. Do you agree? Maybe you're like, oh, bitch. I cannot understand that you love that formula. I detest it. Let me know down below. Because I'm very, very curious. And also, you know, if, if hearing about what I explained today of the formulas that I love and the finishes that I love, you're like, oh, I think she'll love this one. Let me know down below. Please don't make sure that the brand is cruelty free. And if you're not sure, just... just Tell me anyway and I can find out myself. And then that was it. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I am going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.